I'm wondering if we shouldn't clear the air. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think you can be a very selfish person. And I think you find it very hard to think about me. What the fuck? And I think you shouldn't have even married me, actually. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? You proposed to me. You proposed to me at my lowest fucking app. My dad was dying. What was I supposed to say? Perhaps no? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Yes, you really can be safe while you run off to fuck the phone book. Oh, fuck off. You're a hick. And then... You and conservative then, hick. You hit it because you were so scared of how fucking awful you are. You were only with me to get a power. Well, you got it now, Tom. You got it. I'm with you because I love you. Bullshit! You're fucking me for my DNA. You're fucking me for a fucking ladder because your whole family is thriving in parochial. That's not, that's not a fair characterization. Oh, well, yeah. Well, your mom loves me more than she loves you because she's cracked. You wanna, you wanna actually clear the air? Fine. You betrayed me. You were going to see me get sent to fucking prison ship. And then you fucked me all with that fucking undrinkable wine. And you more have my baby. Because you never even thought, honestly, that you'd be with me even more like four fucking years. You offered to go to jail, Tom. You offered because you're servile. You're just, you're just servile. You are incapable of thinking about anybody other than yourself. Because your sense of who you are, Shiv, is that fucking thing. Oh yeah, you read that in a book, Tom. You're too fucking transparent to find in a book. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're a masochist and you can't even take it. I think you are incapable of love. And I think you're maybe not a good person to have children. Well, that's not very nice to say, is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you, you have hurt me more than you can possibly imagine. Help me understand, Days, because I thought you didn't do value. Tell me how the safety net is working for you. Tell me how you put that blade and drag it across your skin and pray for the courage to press down. Tell me how your daddy is helping you cope. Illuminate me. He loves you. I bet with every inch of his manhood. A chance? They didn't release you because you got better days. They just gave up on you. You call this a life? Taking daddy's money, buying your dollies and your knickknacks, and eating his fucking chicken, fattening up like some price fucking Hefner? You changed the scenery, but not the fucking situation on the ward and makes house calls. And everybody knows Everybody knows that he fucks you. What they don't know is that you like it. Huh? You like it. But hey, man, it's cool, man. It's fine, it's fine, it's fucking fine. If a man is a dick, if a man is a dick, is a chicken, is a dad, valium, speculum, whatever. Huh? Whatever. You like being Mrs. Rando. It's probably all that you've ever known. Well, you see, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demure, we have more than 400 plaintiffs, and let's be honest, we know that there's way more out there. Now, they may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide, and $20 million isn't shit when split in between them. Second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in the pool without worrying that they'll have a, have a hysterectomy at the age of 20. Like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours. Or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame ass offer, I want you to think real hard about how much your spine is worth, Mr. Walker. Or how much you expect someone to pay for a uterus, Mrs. Sanchez? Then you take out your calculator and multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that 
is a waste of our time.